Hello and welcome back to the workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. Today we're going to talk about Ed Hart, we're going to talk about IntelliTouch, we're going to talk about Homestar, and we're going to follow up on some things about Homestead. First off, I want to shout out Vintage Ceiling Fans and more, and iHeart Fans. This video is made possible because of both of them. Uh, also want to shout out Ed Hart himself. Obviously, we couldn't do a video about Ed Hart without Ed Hart. So, um, you may have mentioned... Rementioned? Oh, I was doing so good. Hello, and welcome back to The Workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. Today, we're going to talk about Ed Hart. We're going to talk about IntelliTouch. We're going to talk about Homestar, and we're going to follow up on Homestead products in general. And right off the top, I want to give a huge shout out, first of all, to Ed Hart, because the video is partially about him. Huge shout out to Vintage Fans and More, and to iHeart Fans, because both of those websites made this video possible. So, if you don't remember Ed Hart, I mentioned him in the Homestead products video because he patented Homestar. He also patented Casablanca's IntelliTouch and Comfort Touch, and I thought that was very interesting that he was involved in similar control systems from both companies. Uh, I thought there might be some, some more of a story there, and uh, several people, including people from the two websites that I just mentioned, encouraged me to follow up on that and gave me the information that I needed to follow up on that. And it turns out, yes, of course, there is, in fact, an interesting story. Also, we're going to answer some of our questions about Homestar and about Homestead. Let's dig in. And as always with these type of videos, we have to start out by going back in time well before IntelliTouch, Homestar, etc. We're going to go all the way back to 1911. Estelle C. Rainey, an electrical engineer from Ohio, developed and patented an automatic reclosing circuit breaker. If you don't know what that is, normally a circuit breaker, once it breaks, it's broke and you have to reset it. But he patented a circuit breaker that would sense when the fault was gone when the short or overload or whatever it was that caused the trip was gone and reset the circuit breaker on its own. It's called an automatic reclosing circuit breaker. They're still used today. He developed and patented one in 1911. In 1930, 1913, he formed the Automatic Reclosing Circuit Breaker Company, which is quite the mouthful, and the name was shortened to the ARCB Co., because the whole name would not fit on the uniforms of the company's baseball team. In 1936, the name was changed again to RANCO, which stood for Rainey's Controls. Fast forward, in 1961, Techor Electronics was incorporated in Dallas. They are, they are or were a semiconductor manufacturer. In 1966, an engineering major named Ed Hart comes to work for RANCO while he is finishing his engineering degree. In 1979, Ed Hart, who is an engineer and later a VP at RANCO, orchestrates the purchase of Techor, which is the semiconductor factory. RANCO moves him to Dallas to run Techor. Techor makes, among other things, ceiling fan controls and supplies ceiling fan controls to Casablanca. Ed Hart meets Burton Burton. And I would assume you know who Burton Burton is. If you don't, go back. We have a whole video on Burton Burton. It is, of course, very interesting, as all things pertaining to Burton Burton are. And if you haven't watched that, you definitely should. That's 1979. In 1980, Ed Hart patents the first remote wall control for ceiling fans using existing wiring called the Remote Load Selector. The patent is assigned to TechCore Electronics and later to Ranco. It was designed for one of their clients, the Casablanca Fan Company, and was specifically engineered to fit Casablanca canopies. Casablanca passes, but becomes interested in Ed. And by the way, if you want to see pictures of that control, I have uploaded them to Dan Spiffy Newman Ceiling Fans and also to slideshow number maybe 208. I'm not sure which, but the pictures are in the slideshow. you got to dig for them. They're an Easter egg. They are there, though. So... That is 1980. We're going to skip to 1982. Burton Burton sells Casablanca Fan Company to Farmhouse Foods. I, again, in the Burton Burton video, I thought that was so weird that the company is named Farmhouse Foods and they're buying a ceiling fan company. But whatever, we talked about that in that video. Uh, Burton Burton sells Casablanca to Farmhouse Foods and offers Ed a job as VP 
with the promise that when Burton steps away completely, Ed will take over as Casablanca's chairman. Also in 1982, Burton and Ed are invited to General Electric's Fort Wayne Motor Plant to see a new fan and motor system designed and developed by GE. It used a DC motor, one side of the AC line controlled the motor, and the other side of the AC line controlled the lights. Early prototypes were prototypes. Oh, I think I've screwed up too many times. Uh, we're going to start over. I was doing really good, though. I really was. Hello, and welcome back to the workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. Today, we're going to talk about Ed Hart. We're going to talk about IntelliTouch. We're going to talk about Homestar. And we're going to follow up on some things about Homestead products. So right away at the top of this video, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you, first of all, to Ed Hart, because we couldn't do a video about Ed Hart without Ed Hart. Second of all, to Vintage Fans and More, and to iHeart Fans. Both of those websites made this video possible. Um, so if you remember the Homestead Products video, I mentioned Ed Hart had patented Homestar, and I thought it was interesting that he patented Homestar in between patenting IntelliTouch for Casablanca and Comfort Touch for Casablanca. I said that's got to be an interesting story there. And thanks to people at iHeart Fans and people at Vintage Fans and more, they encouraged me to research that story and gave me the tools that I needed to make this video. So thank you to all three of those entities. Uh, this video would not be possible without you. Let's dig into it. And always with these sort of topics, we have to start by going back in time, way before IntelliTouch, Homestar, etc. And we're going to go all the way back to 1911. Estelle C. Rainey, an electrical engineer from Ohio, developed and patented an automatic reclosing circuit breaker. I'm sure you know what a circuit breaker is. And normally, once they uh, open, they stay open. Which means if the, there's a short or an overload and the breaker breaks, it's open and you have to go and reset it. He patented a circuit breaker that would sense when the fault was gone, the overload or the short was gone, and reclose the circuit breaker. And those type of designs are still in use today. There's cases where you can't reset it and it has to be automatically reset and there are still automatic reclosing circuit breakers in use today. Um, but he patented one in 1911, which is very early. In 1913, he formed the Automatic Reclosing Circuit Breaker Company. It was shorted to the ARCB Co. because the name would not fit on the company's baseball team's uniforms. In 1936, the name was changed once again to Ranco for Rainey's Controls. We're going to skip forward to 1961. TechCore Electronics is incorporated in Dallas. They manufacture semiconductors, transistors and chips and things of that nature. That's 1961. In 1966, an engineering major named Ed Hart comes to work for Ranco. Skip forward again. 1979. Ed Hart, an engineer and later VP at Ranco, orchestrates the purchase of TechCor. So Rancor, which makes controls and circuit breakers and other things in that field, buys TechCor, which makes, you know, semiconductors and transistors and other things, small electronics that are used in controls. It's a smart purchase. Ranco moves him to Dallas, Texas to run TechCor. TechCor makes, among other things, ceiling fan controls, and they are a supplier to Casablanca. Ed Hart meets Burton Burton. In 1980, Ed Hart patents the first remote wall control for ceiling fans that uses existing wiring. So it's not like an RF remote control or an infrared remote control. It's like the IntelliTouch, which we'll get to in a second, that uses signals over the AC wiring. But it predated IntelliTouch. It was patented in 1980, and it was called the Remote Load Selector. And if you want to see pictures of that, they are going to be in one of the slideshows and uploaded to Dan's Spiffy Newman Ceiling Fans. I won't tell you exactly where. It's an Easter egg. you got to hunt for it. Um, but that is 1980. The patent is assigned to TechCor Electronics and later to Ranco. It was designed for one of their clients, the Casablanca Fan Company, and was specifically engineered to fit in Casablanca canopies. Casablanca passes, but becomes interested in Ed. In 1982... Burton Burton sells Casablanca Fan Co. to Farmhouse Foods, which I still think is weird, Farmhouse Foods. If you want to hear more about that, go back to the Burton Burton video. Um, and Burton offers Ed a job as VP with the promise that when Burton steps away completely, Ed will take over as chairman. 
1982, Burton Burton sells... Oh, fuck. Hello, and welcome back to The Workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. Today we're going to talk about Ed Hart, we're going to talk about IntelliTouch, we're going to talk about... I'm going to start over. Hey guys, welcome back to The Workbench. This is where we discuss ceiling fan history, trivia, and technical information. And we're going to try something a little different this time. We're going to do something that I wish I had done earlier in the series and I just didn't think of it or get around to it, which is I want to submit, not submit, 